Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock Straight from Point Magoo, California. And today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Armada Demolisher. All right, let's take a quick look at the package. Comes with Demolisher with Minicon Blackout, Transformers Armada, real average package, but it's a deluxe. It does have those power links, Blackout. So I'll show you what the power links is. Here's like Clonus and Hot Shot. So these are Armada 2002, and if you want to read the story, there it is. Demolisher Blackout, which is a neat little minicon, made back in 2002. It's a level 3 transformation, but it's really not that difficult. Also comes with this little sticker of Armada Demolisher. Neat looking, I like the different size eyes. Comes with an instruction sheet. Ta-da! Yeah. And this little sheet where you can read, or sorry, pamphlet where you can read the comic, or in the back where you can see the little toys that are available. Like Hot Shots, infamously bad Hot Shot, and Cyclonus, which looks weird, and Red Alert, which I still want, and Megatron, and Armada Prime, which is pretty awesome. All right, let's go ahead and look at the toy, and the Minicon, which I like. Mind you, I'll show you, is neatly stored right here. I like this, this thing rolls really well, and there's a button right back here where you, if you press it, Minicon launches out. Let's see what happens. <laughs> All right, it wasn't that great. Maybe it's because it was kind of snug in there. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it didn't launch too well, probably because it was a little too snug in there, but you, you get the point. I'm not gonna do that again. Also, what I like about this is that it rolls rather well. I love the tank tray. I like the detail in the painting and the molding. Great molding. The tank treads are good. You can see the wheels hidden really well. So I like this mode. There's a little seat for the Minicon. It actually can drive. I like the colors on this. It's just wonderful looking colors. A red, vibrant, beautiful, beautiful. It looks more like a mech than a tank. As you can see, the arms do move up and down to fire and the little missile launcher does move back. So you can get it in pretty decent poses. And the Minicon does activate this. So it actually does shoot. So that's, that's the power link on here. So these things are spring loaded. So if you press this back, it will shoot both of them. And there we go, just like that. That's pretty awesome. I like how it uh, shot both at different intervals. And they just press back in. And it also has this weird power link mode, which I'm not a big fan of. And I'll show it to you anyways, because it's partial to the transformation anyways. Uh, again, is it official mode? Oh well. Part of the transformation is that you move this. All right, move this out. Kind of pull this down. Uh, okay, got to be careful. Yeah. Man, I don't like this mode. Take the mini con off. Yeah, I'm I'm not a big fan of it, but it is what it is. It gives it a more mech-like type mode, and we can put the seat down so it can kind of shoot. Um, it's okay looking, I guess. And the same power link thing still works. So if you want to pop it in right here, yeah, I guess it's it could work as a mode. Yeah, something like that. It's not bad looking. Definitely could do other things. Oh, one thing is that I forgot to mention is from the back over here, and I'm going to put this back on tank mode because I like it better that way. From the back, you can... You also can put the Minicon, which I'm going to transform real quick. Okay. Good looking mini con, so let's go ahead and show you what we got. Its form is actually like this. And, and you put this little thing back down, so that was actually flipped up. I'll show you that. And it rolls really well. I like it. I just like the colors. One of the neater looking mini cons. And to transform them, just flip the arms up, put this back down, which hides the head. And it's a very nondescript head. Put the arms or legs down, and that's it. Articulation, well, you're not going to get much shoulder moves out because of the transformation and it moves up uh, at the joint or around at the joint you got a weird hip and the knee does bend 
But one of the things I like is this thing can ride. And if you put them in the back over here, yeah, you can pilot, old boy. I like that. It's kind of neat to me. I like the fact that they thought about that. Really neat stuff. 8 out of 10 for the alt modes. Don't really dig the power link mode, but it, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and transform them. Easy transformation. I know it says level 3, but I already got this pretty much. As we start, pull the legs down. Good. Flip this so that becomes one of the legs. Same for the other side. Pull the legs down. Okay. And this just pops in to place like so. Just like that. Night bat. Then we're going to move that down. See this little thing? It clicks in. I wish I could tell you what that joint is. There we go. So, once again, snap together. They don't snap together, but that would have been nice. And I like this Gerwalk looking mode right here. I'm not going to lie. It reminds me of some Macross or Mac mode. Kind of neat. And I'm going to put the little dude over here piloting. Uh, I, I wish that that was an, more the unofficial mode than anything else. Okay, enough fun for now. Split this in two. And then you can see the guy's head. What I don't like is that the head does not stay in place. It does. There's no tab or anything, so it moves back in. And it doesn't rotate. I do like the fierce head sculpt. I like the big eyes. It's different. I know he's grimacing, so it's really neat to me. Now, the arms just fold down it's double jointed so the missile launchers became the guy's hands which and fingers not a big fan of that so again double joint move forward and that's it so yeah you can still launch these things by pushing down here yeah I need the little mini con to do so and the mini con itself can be stored either on that peg or these pegs right here so it depends what you want to do with them you know, I mean, I think the Minicon's neat, but he will store on that peg. And if you store him on this peg, the missiles will launch. If I can do it again. There we go. I'm not going to grab those missiles again. <laughs> so, it is what it is. Articulation, you got some weird leg joint right here. It moves up to the side, but that's about it. It moves up. Not really much on the knee. It moves forward. And, of course, this weird whatever it's not a hinge just a i don't know shoulder does move 360 but it doesn't move to the side double jointed elbow which is kind of neat but it doesn't have the greatest joint there and of course no wrist swivel uh it does have a waist swivel which i'm thankful for but i've mentioned again that the head does not move oh well what you gonna do all right here's a size comparison with Megatron so it's in scale with deluxe figures it's about the same size as you can see not a decent looking toy but a brick in this mode so I'm not a big fan of that five out of ten for the robot mode all right youtubers it's all I got and I catch you all next time